and we begin with the boys in Division 2. Couple of rivals and local seniors in the chase for the individual title, Nicholas Soder of Dearborn Divine Child and Chelsea's Bryce Bradley. Bradley and Soder finished second and third respectively in last year's state meet, but Soder edged Bradley to win the recent New Boston Huron invite. Into the second mile, Soder with the lead, but Bradley would take home the title. He beat Soder by a second to go out a senior state champ. We now go to Division I. A pair of Kensington Lakes West Division rivals, Hartland and Milford the favorite to win the whole thing. Individually, Evan Chiplock of Saginaw Heritage with a little separation early. At the two mile mark, still holding the lead, but reigning Oakland County champ, Lakeland's Garrett Zook on his heels. 27th in the state meet a year ago, the senior Zook finds fifth gear and would win by over three seconds. His first individual goal. Team-wise, the Mavericks found themselves with three All-Staters, including Brian Kettle and Cody Snavely in the top five. The Milford boys win their third cross-country state title in the last eight seasons. And finally, to the ladies in Division I. Gross Point South, the favorites coming in, going for their first cross-country state championship. Individually, Dystat's second-ranked runner in the nation, Aaron Finn, the junior out of West Bloomfield, looking to become the sixth straight Oakland County runner to earn D1 medalist honors. The reigning Oakland County champ led from wire to wire, and despite a furious kick from behind, held on for victory. Division I individual state champ, she now heads to the Foot Locker Regional. Team-wise, it belonged to Gross Point South as four Lady Blue Devils earned All-State honors, including celebrated junior Hannah Meyer, who took third. Gross Point South wins their first ever girls cross-country state crown. <laughs>